All right, so let's go ahead and get through this think practice of distance and displacement. We are gonna compare and contrast these two. We're gonna use a graph to determine them. And we're gonna demonstrate the scenarios in which we're talking about distance and displacement. So let's go ahead and read the instructions. Use the graph paper to draw each scenario. Where's the graph paper? Oh, page two. All right, graph paper. Fill in the correct information for distance and displacement using the correct units. Units are important. The first example has been completed for you. Use this as a guide to complete the rest of the table. Assume that one square equals one meter. All right, so then it's asking you right here, these blanks kind of throw some students off sometimes. What is total meter, meters traveled? That would be called distance. So in this box here, you're going to on this line, you're going to want to type distance. Distance is the total meters traveled. Okay. And then the next definition here says distance traveled from starting point to ending point, ignoring the journey in between. If the journey is not a straight line, simply draw an arrow from the starting point to the ending point and measure the length of the arrow. So what word does that describe? Displacement, right? Let me get my box working. Okay. So you might think, well, that's two words. Is that all we're learning today? Pretty much. We need to be able to differentiate these words and answer questions about these two. It's actually a whole standard for our class. Okay. So don't forget to include the direction. All right, so we're going to skip that line for right now and just kind of get into the meat of the graphing part. We'll come back to it later on. But this is the first one's been done for you. It says move four meters east, move two meters west. Our total distance is six. So we would just add these numbers, four and two. How do we get that displacement? Let's look on a graph and see. This is the one they've already done for you. If you moved four meters east, so one, two, three, four meters, then you turn around and you move two meters west. So you're standing right here. Kind of picture yourself in this scenario. Okay you're only two meters from where you started at. Okay. So that's the idea for displacement is from where you started to where you ended. But your total distance traveled was the four plus two. Right, and that's what we have up here. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll do number two We'll do some of them together, but let's start with number two. Move four meters north, move two meters south. Well, okay, let's find our graph here. And I am going to just pick any spot here. All right, so I'm going to use this spot. Maybe. <laughs> okay, right here is where I'm going to start. And it told me to move four meters north. So I need a line. And we're going to make that line a little thicker so we can see it. We're going to go, I think we're going to go one, two, three, four meters north. Okay. And then it says to move two meters south. So I'm going to change color so you can kind of see where we're at. If I start right here and I go two meters south, Okay, so if I've walked up and down the sidewalk, then what is my distance? How far did I walk total? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I come back up here, my distance is six meters. Okay. What's my displacement? It's real similar to the one that we had here, but let's look at that direction. If my displacement from my beginning to my ending, it's 
only two meters, but two meters in what direction did I move? North, right. So if I come back up here, I'm going to type two meters north. We just do. Okay. All right, east and west, east and west. Okay, so three, four, five, and six are all kind of the same thing. So I'd like to see you do three, four, five, and six on your own. So we're going to um, put a box around these ones. You should be doing these on your own. Okay, so I'll give you about two and a half minutes to get those done. And then we'll come back together and we'll do seven and eight together because they are a little different. So we're going to have to think about them in a little different way. But do three, four, five, and six um, on your own. I'll give you about two and a half minutes to do that. Well, let's go ahead and look at number seven. Number seven is a little bit different. It says move three meters east and move four meters north. So let's look at that on the graph and we'll kind of, we'll get our starting point. Okay, so we'll make this our starting point right here. Get a line. We're going to move three meters east. So one, two, three meters east. And then it says move four meters north. So one, two, three, four. Meters north. Well, the distance one, so the distance one is kind of easy because we're just going to add to add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we moved seven meters. That is our distance. I'm going to put this here. Seven. Well, let's uh, get a new box. All right, that was seven meters total. But our displacement, now this displacement is where we get a little bit different because the difference, the distance between where I started and where I ended, the shortest distance is a straight line. Have you ever heard that? The shortest distance from point A to point B is a straight line. Well, that's not a straight line. There's a bend in there. So let's change our color. And we were, let's change our color. And, oh, we want this one. <laughs> we'll get it right. And the shortest distance is this distance right here. A straight line from point A to point B. Uh-oh. <laughs> what does that look like? Does anybody, can anybody tell me what we have to do now? Jordan, go ahead. Hmm? Yeah, that's our direction is northeast for sure. But what is the displacement? So, I don't know if you guys have done CK12 yet, but there's one in there about Pythagorean theorem. So you have to figure the distance here. Now, we could kind of cheat since we have a graph, and we could say, all right, we're going from this corner to this one. There's one, two, three, about four. But it's going to be better if we actually do the math to get it done. So let's, let's go ahead and put some math on the page here. Make it red. Okay. So if we know that this one is three, three squared is nine. Okay. Plus one, two, three, four. Four squared is 16. Okay. Equals our C squared. Okay. So nine and 16 is 25. So we could even replace that with that 25. What is the distance here? The square root of 25 is five. Right, so we can go back up and put 
our displacement for number seven. Oops. Put that on the wrong spot. I'm sorry. Our displacement for number seven is five meters. And just like Jordan said, northeast. Okay. And so when we do the ones like this that are um, kind of turning a corner, we're going to have to do a little bit more math for it. So would you like to do number eight together or do you want to go ahead and do that one on your own? You have a little bit of time and then check it? Okay. All right. So you go ahead and take about a minute, two minutes to get that done. And then we'll check number eight. If you want to go on to number nine, go ahead and do that. All right, so the answer to number eight would be 14 meters is your distance and 10 meters southeast is your displacement. Notice the displacement always has a direction on it. So let's check out what did we, what did I do? What did you need to do to get that accomplished? You went your one, two, three, four, five, six meters to the east and eight meters south. Okay, so six and eight is 14. That's how far I was actually walked, but the shortest point from point A to point B, the shortest distance from point A to point B is a straight line. So this right here, this hypotenuse is your displacement. So then six times six plus eight times eight equals C squared equals the square of your, of your displacement. So a hundred, What's the square root of 100 is 10, because 10 times 10 is 100. So 10 equals your displacement. So the shortest distance from where you started to where you ended up. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do number nine. And then, so do number nine on your own. You should be doing that one. And then we'll, I'll give you about a minute and a half, two minutes, and then we'll do some of the questions together and give you some time for a practice. All right, so you should have a lot more drawings on your graph than I do, but let's go ahead and look at the word problems. And this is kind of going to be what your test questions are going to look more like are these word problems. So a truck travels to and from a stone quarry that is located 2.5 kilometers to the east. What is the total distance traveled by the truck? What is its displacement? Explain with the diagram. So, all right, I'm going to pick a line here. We have our truck, which we'll make a little box for our truck. Okay. You could even put some little wheels. I know it's totally unnecessary, but it's all right. We have our line. Our truck is going to travel to the stone quarry and our truck is going to travel back. Okay, so this is 2.5 kilometers. Oh. 2.5 kilometers. So the total distance traveled by the truck, he traveled down this way, then he traveled all the way back. So 2.5 plus 2.5. What does that equal? Five. Five kilometers. His total distance was five kilometers. But what is his displacement? He ended up, what is the, where he ended up any different than where he started? No. So his total displacement there is zero kilometers. And anytime it's zero, you don't have to put a direction because it's zero. Okay. Make a thumbs up if that makes sense. We're still just differentiating these two words, just using display, distance and displacement properly. Let's see. There's two, three, four, five, six... Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do number two together, and then you guys can work on the other ones. Um, we might do three, too, if you want me to, but 
a whale swims due east for a distance of 6.9 kilometers, turns around and goes due west for 1.8 kilometers, and finally turns around again and heads 3.7 kilometers due east. Now, this is a strange whale, but... Okay, so we have our whale. It's a terrible whale. But we have... And this whale is going to go 6.9 kilometers. So we should probably label that. Kilometers east. That's the first trip. And then... The whale is going to turn straight around, which seems really weird, and go due west for 1.8 kilometers. It's probably not completely to scale, but... And that is west. Okay. And then... Finally turns around and heads 3.7 kilometers due east. Uh-oh, well, I'm going to run out of space. That's okay. So we have our line. So we're, the whale is sitting right here. And now they're going to go, it's going to go back all this way. Like I said, not to scale, but it's okay. We're going to get 3.7 kilometers east. This one's a little bit different, isn't it? Because the total distance traveled by the whale are these three numbers added up. So let's go to this line. And I'm going to make my font a little smaller so it'll actually fit. But 6.9 kilometers plus 1.8 kilometers. Notice the distance does not have um, directions with it because distance is that scalar quantity. Okay, equals, and I'm gonna pull up my calculator and put that in real quick, because I don't wanna make a silly mistake on a video. 6.9 plus 1.8 plus 3.7, that's 12.4 kilometers. Okay, so with distance, we just add it up. Okay, now, Displacement is going to be a little bit different on this one because we have to figure out how much farther from where the whale started to where the whale ended are we, are we really. So we're going to take and do a little bit of math down here at the bottom to think about it. So we have 6.9 and then we went back. 1.8. So we're going to say 6.9 kilometers minus 1.8 kilometers. Okay, what does that equal? You guys can probably do it in your head, but I know that I cannot, so I'm going to put in a calculator. 6.9 minus 1.8. Okay, that's 5.1. So at, at this point right here, we are we have made a displacement of 5.1 kilometers east okay because we are east from where we started okay and then we're going to add the 3.7 because then we traveled further away so Eight point eight, and we could go ahead and move this math problem up here, since that's where the question's really asking it. The displacement of the whale. Now, wait a second. Am I done? No. Displacement needs a direction. So, from where the whale started to where it ended up, what direction has it moved? East. So, eh, I did not mean for that to be that. 8.8 .8 kilometers east. 
Okay. Give me a thumbs up if this kind of makes sense. Okay. All right. Do you feel like you can do them on your own? Do you some, a couple heads shaking yes and a couple heads shaking no. All right. I said, give me a thumbs up if you want me to do number three as an example. And a thumbs down if you're like, nah, I got this. Oh, I see one thumbs down and no other thumbs. So, all right. I want you to go ahead and do, do the rest of them. Do three, four, five, and six. And draw the pictures. Okay. Or if you don't want to draw the pictures on the cami, draw the pictures in your notebook so you can think through them. Okay. And then put the answers on there. But thinking about like the whale, thinking about, okay, the whale turned around and then it went back. I can see that it should be farther than 6.9 east just by my picture. Like with the truck, it drove away and then it came back. Okay. Wait, it didn't actually get anywhere. So make sure you draw the picture, think about it and ask questions if you need help. Okay. But you should then submit this as a PDF to today's assignment.